Yenny, 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 Laurel, Laurel. Yeah, brother, do you like 18th scale rigs? Do you not care what 18th scale means in the market? Then you're gonna love the new Capra. We have yet another 18th scale release. Maybe not this week when I'm filming it, but lately here, we've had another release. This is the 18th scale Capra from Axial Racing. And is it 18th scale? Uh, here, let's look next to the Defender. Uh, overhead view, let's see, in my, in my end view, here we go. There we go, overhead view, the Capra is much larger. Side view, the Capra is much larger. I mean, it can like wheel over this guy. So as is typical in the market, the scale of the rig doesn't always indicate exactly what it is. We've got a lot of 10th scale rigs in the market that are really more like 8th scale rigs. We've got a lot of 10th scale rigs that are really more like 12th scale rigs in the market, and the 18th scale really is no different. There's a lot of reasons why I'm excited about this 18th scale though, not to downplay this one, but the size of this one, although it's more expensive by $100, is really cool. So let's get into it. Uh, just for reference, $150 on the TRX4M and about $250 or $240 for the Capra. Now, let's just take a look at this give you a little overview of what it has what it does it does have portal axles on here which gives you more ground clearance just like the normal capra it has let's see it looks like the housings do not have a removable third member however i have heard that there's enough room for five millimeter outputs from your ring and pinion which means we could actually put a lot of power to these <laughs> so the 18th scale or i'm sorry the 1.9 uh 1.9 comp class from a decade plus ago it used really similar sized rigs to these and i don't think that i have my old axial minis here i no, i don't have them here to show you the difference between them but essentially let's see did i call it yeah this one has 1.55 rims on it but you can put 1.9s on it of course i would also like to note as compared to the other mini the traxxas mini you can see the servo size maybe this uses the really small traxxas servo like the shift servo in here and this uses a full size 10th scale servo uh, looks like a shorty, actually. Let's see. Uh, a little bit longer than a shorty. You could probably fit a full-size servo on here and it and won't hit the frame at full bump. Not that you need full bump, but that's really cool. So we can throw just a regular old servo on here, and it's going to have a ton of steering power. A ton of steering power, whereas this one, yeah, maybe not so much. Get 100 ounce inches in this one or so, you can get 500 plus, or I mean, I mean we could probably throw in a shv 800 and get over a thousand ounce inches in there so the possibilities of this rig actually is what excites me more than the stock rig but let's talk about the stock rig it's got the molded plastic cage on here instead of a body that removes which is going to make it a pain in the butt to switch out your electronics to work on it um, as a matter of fact i don't even know how to get to the battery tray yet i haven't looked at the instructions not that i ever do uh, but there, there has to be some easy way i see a plug up here i see a little spot in here so the question is how do we get to it they wouldn't make it where you have to like unscrew parts to get to the battery tray would they i don't think so let me know in the comments uh why i should read the instruction booklet <laughs> Uh, other notable things, this comes with a 380 motor, or a really big motor, for the size of the vehicle at least. We already have the Revolver 380 V2, which is pretty much a drop-in fit. From what I understand, you might have to shave a little bit of a battery or some, some you have to shave a little bit of something on there potentially to get it in. Uh, I have not tried yet, just got this rig, so I don't know, but... Oh, 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 it's the it's the link mount down here. Oh, get that in camera there. The link mount down in here. You have to shave just a little bit to clear the 380 V2. Well, we have had reports of lots of customers installing them in there, and it is a quite a popular motor for 1.9 comp rigs already, even 2.2 comp rigs. So overkill. You can put overkill servo on here. You can put overkill motor on here, and uh, you know we'll see long term what the longevity is of it, but. 
these axles look really beefy. Uh, I don't have my measuring device handy. I don't have batteries in that one. So we'll, we'll get into the nitty gritty of, you know, axle size, shaft size, et cetera, down the road on that. But I do know that there's already vendors that are making aftermarket parts for these which is really cool. You know, stronger gear sets, uh, either underdrive or overdrive. I'm pretty sure Axial is coming out with their own overdrive for the axles. So we're already gonna see a lot of part support in a very short amount of time for these rigs, which is also a very exciting aspect of them. So what else is notable on these? Uh, compared to the other 18 scale, the TRX4M, this has much larger shocks. It is a much larger vehicle in general. You're probably going to be able to go out and wheel this on real trails and it'll be really difficult don't get me wrong you're going to be able to find hard sections really easily easy hard hard easy uh, but it's big enough that you can actually walk behind it on a normal trail and not have to constantly pick it up not that it's a really big deal when you have a rig that's you know not even a pound it seems it's not a big deal to pick this up and just, you know, oop, there you go. Uh, but your ability to actually go trailing with this and walk behind it is going to be more than a smaller rig. So what, what else? I don't know anything about the electronics yet. It's just a normal old sealed can motor, I would assume, with a pretty high turn, turn count on there. Uh, well, I'll have to do more research later on that. Can I see? Oh, I can almost see what turn it is. Not quite, though. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. We won't worry about that yet. So I guess the next thing for me to do is to, to figure out how to get a battery into this thing. There's gotta be some easy way. I refuse to read the instructions and that's only to my detriment. So does the entire hood hinge? Ha ha, look at there. All right, I didn't need to read those instructions. Yeah, so there we go. The entire hood hinges up. You slide your battery in there um maybe <laughs> slide the traxxas battery in there oh, no 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 i'll just wait i'll just wait um the 3500 is probably not going to fit oh it's so close but it's not going to so we're going to do more work later on we're going to figure this thing out and go wheeling with it so yeah first impressions on the capra tires aren't great everything else i really like on it so We'll just go from there. Man, this, yeah, this is gonna make a really sweet comp rig. Maybe lower it down some, different frame, different everything. Basically, buy the axles and throw everything out. <laughs> Back to the comp days of buying an entire rig just to throw almost everything out. Uh, you will keep the plastic portions of the axle housings unless you buy those aftermarket and uh, <laughs> everything else you'll replace the ring and the pinion and the portal gears and you'll probably end up replacing your half shafts in there and yeah that's it's it's all fun though it's all fun so if you have one of these let me know what your impressions are have you broken anything yet what do you like about it what do you not like about it and are you planning on building a new 1.9 comp rig with it because there's a lot of potential with this. Ooh, and lights. I didn't even notice the lights. It's got rock lights up front here. It's got headlamps right there. It does not have any uh, tail lights, but this is definitely not a road legal vehicle anyway. So, you know, it'll work. Oh, uh, on off plug or uh, on off switch. Really easy to get to right there. I like that. Although I don't like on off switches, but at least the switch is easy to get to. So it could be worse. All right, there we go. My first impressions. Axial UTB18, excuse me, UTB18 Capra. There we go. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you got any questions or comments. Have a great day.